<clears throat> hey girl, thanks for joining, NB. Thanks for joining. Uh, Arne as well. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. Uh, it's as it says. We're reading notes. This is very important. Oh, pie as well. You're stealing pies again. Beat the guy. Congratulations. I'm just gonna get my setup going here, and then we're gonna start reading. Uh, I don't know what soundtrack to use, so I'm just gonna stick with remake, and we're just gonna hope for the best. Cause I know nothing about this at all. So, is this it? This is character material. We don't read this. This is afterwards. Like angel notes. I assume this is it. So I just do this. So now this is Earl's works. He wrote it while working on Karno Kyokai. Good to know. So I can just do this. Yeah, that'll do. Then we just like ooh. get on the page, sir. There we go. Get in there. We can't see you guys, so oh shit. I got rid of you. I'm sorry, chat. I got rid of you. Um, how am I gonna make you visible? Hey, Menon. I'm so sorry. Chat abuse. <laughs> um, how am I gonna do this? I can do. I can do this, and then we. Can I move this to the left? No. No, I can't. Do not worry about the language, alright? Let me worry about that. Don't worry about the language, alright? Alright, I think this is about the best we can do. You don't need to see us. I mean, fair. You know what? Fair if you say so. But again, don't worry about the language, alright? Listen. Don't worry about it. Alright? Let's make sure. Uh, I think we're good. Audio's good, right? I sound good? I sound clear? I sound concise? See, you're not blocking this, are you? You're not. Good. Yeah. Alright, fantastic. I don't have to check them. Alright, let me make sure that I got the stream like, administration shit. Just in case someone does something funny. Alright. You guys ready to read some blank text on a screen? You ready? Alright, let's read some notes. Hell yeah. Yep. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. I mean, I did this with Mahoyo, right? So, excuse me. So, it's not exactly a new thing, but... Alright, this is what I wrote when I was invited to make an anthology comic on the topic of angels. However, the anthology wasn't text-based, and the two were artists, so I was in trouble. What is the meaning of a novel when over half of the book was pictures? Especially when it's a short novel. That's why I came up with the irregular notes, after my doubtfulness. I remember that I was pretty satisfied with what I came up with, considering that it was complete, completed in a short amount of time. Although it's unpleasant to the eyes, it brings back memories when I cut and pasted what I typed out from the word processor. If I ever get a chance, I would like to make this into a real series of story too. I always think about that when I look at the black barrel. So, notes becoming its own thing one day? Maybe? I don't know. Alright, so you're gonna be clogging with this part, aren't you? You're not. It's gonna be longer than a decade. True. <laughs> True. The aircraft rose further into the strat. into the str troposphere. Oh, I didn't even know that was a word. The sea of ash and clouds had yet to disappear. Things of iron soared for the vast, leaden, leaden skies. Working on a dangerous mission to eliminate the common enemy of the human species. The liners. I've never heard this word before. Liners? What the hell? At the end of the battle, all but one of the aircrafts that had participated in the mission were destroyed. It was lucky that this old piece of junk's autopilot was flying it. The air control plane was the only one that was unaffected by the influence of the enemy's body temperature. Continue to fly by myself. I think almost 30 years? Fucking hell. The lines of coke, that's what they're called liners. Oh, okay. Good to know. The heartbeats resounding throughout the machine were, as one would expect, my own. I opened the hangar with my gun at the ready. 
They are flowing into the air cups, freezing, burning my lungs. The plane's internal air temperature reaching below zero. The cold I wore showed minimal effect against it. The level of freezing cold was at a critical point. We're not maintaining the survival of organic life. I'm just put this over here. There we go. Dang it. This is unserious. This aircraft, which had only been intended for the transportation of flight capable species, wasn't equipped with weaponry like sniping equipment. I wanted to fight in this war. I had to risk cutting my life short. Intense cold and rampaging winds. Corpses of my comrades lay behind me. Spinal fluid overflowing from their noses and ears. Ugh. This was an old plane. There was no way of predicting how long it would continue to fly. The state of affairs was so absolutely bleak that I felt like singing out loud. The black barrel that I modified for sniping at the ready did nothing but wait. The moment my enemy would come into the range of my scope. The very moment I could pull the trigger and be at ease. Seven days have been piling up onto the in-flight clock. Yet only seven days have passed. My paralyzed brain felt that I could continue staying like this for another month. Or maybe another year. My body was constantly on the brink of death. I wondered how much time had passed. My consciousness. My language. My very self. Just when I finished losing all of it, I recollected everything back. My gun sight caught the enemy. When I met moments hesitation, I pulled the trigger. My brain broke through its limits. I was scorched. Just before I fell into unconsciousness, just one brief moment before white was painted over my consciousness, I caught a glimpse of the enemy's form. How beautiful. Between a rift in the clouds, I saw an angel. Okay, what a good opener. Very good opener, okay. Just... okay. Wait so I can see a few guys in chat, there we go. Oh my god. <laughs> this is gonna be a lot. Alright. <clears throat> How many pages is this? No. Land of Steel. Over counts. 1999. A planet, had, a planet that died. A globe that reached its end. A world uninhabitable by living things. This is the name of the present day's world. It's not an official name, but a common name passed down amongst the humans who live in the ruined land. Remember when you, wanted, when you said you wanted a dictionary of Nosiverse terms? Ah! Uh, oh shit! It's 12 pages total. Oh, okay, that's not that bad. I have read longer things. Okay, so... You know what? Good to know. Nothing but Nosiverse terms. You know what? I'll take that, as long as they're explained in a way that makes sense. <clears throat> Where am I? Like the name Land of Steel makes apparent, the majority of the content is made up of cracked wastelands, covered by murky grey clouds. Food cannot be grown, and the Earth's atmosphere, which is suitable for animals, has been lost. On a mansion now, I guess. It was, to put it in the human species' way of speaking, a drastic end of a century. And even after the Mund planet died, the human species were able to live on it, on with its developed civil technology. Even the planet's end that humanity once imagined couldn't bring an end to the human species. What the hell? So... So the planet died. But we just kinda got over it. Because we have technology. We just kinda got over it. It's in the far future? Okay. Yes. <laughs> the planet dies and we're like... Okay. Just get over it, man. I mean, you say Far Future Pies, but... 1999, that's not... I, I'm... Don't think of remake terms. Remake terms doesn't count here. This is original. So, 1999 is far. What's the problem? I... Just, nothing. 100 A-Ray subspecies. A-Ray. I'm not sure 99 is the actual year. Ah, it's fair. Next generation primates created by the humanity that used up all the plant's resources. Each possessing motifs from the living things that used to exist on the planet. They were heavily modified and enhanced in order to survive on the ruined planet. 
The evolutionary tree is diverse and have been broadly classified into a hundred species. Classifications numbered 1 through 10 consist of only a single species rather than a colony. Some carry the genes of humans and have human-like human -like characteristics. As you would expect, the vast majority have evolved from a fusion of various species of primates. Or should we create a cat group? Yeah, I'm like, that's what this- hold on. I'm like, wait a minute. A hundred different species put into one? The f- Huh? That means we made cat girls or some shit, yeah! Let's go! <laughs> the Great War, Babel's Tale. After the death of the planet, there was a war between the surviving remnants of humanity and the hundred A-rays. Many simply acted in order to survive. The A-rays acted in order to rule the world. Xenoblade is finally real. Stop, please. I'm not really caught up on Alpha and AFGL, but I hear it reference A race quite a lot. Really? I didn't even know that. And I'm on. I'm doing fucking OC3. I didn't even know that. Granted, it's JP's. I can't read it. But I try to read some of it, but I don't. I haven't heard of that at all. That's interesting. The various A race were united into 100 subspecies by the six sisters. In the face of this threat, humanity was pushed to the brink of defeat. At the end of the Great War, humanity created the human species and the knights, and this development only led to the further destruction of the planet that was already dead. There was no victor in this war. The third party came flying in towards the end of the battle, and both sides were almost annihilated. What the hell? Third party? Who's cheating? Human Species Aligner Humanity in the Land of Steel Former human species were able to evolve alongside this world. To be more precise, they were also included within the 100 A race. They were able to adapt and live within the current environment, but despite that they were unable to exceed the limits of an ordinary human's abilities, they are building a civilization in order to reform the old civilization. They are in a ceasefire with the 100 A race species. Okay. But you were just fighting them, weren't you? Unless. Uh, unless after this unknown third party showed up. They were like, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 chill, hold on. Let's calm down a little bit, let's, let's relax. I'm, something like that, I'm, I'm assuming? I don't know. You got it? Oh, shit, I'm smart, chat. Round of applause, I'm smart, chat. I figured shit out by reading. <laughs> I read and I figured it out. Crazy. Knights, Etherliner. Those among the human species who possess biology... Biology with an even stronger acceptance of the drastically changed environment's influence. No way streamer can read? I know, right? They wield special weapons called Mystic Swords and are an aggressive species that can fight the A-Rays equally without any support from the weapons of an old era. The old era. There are currently 78 knights enlisted. So Mystic Swords, I assume, are... Um... Is Arc Dead 2? Yes! I'd assume so, yeah. I mean, she could still be alive, but she's not getting any nourishment from the planet. She'd have to go the old, the old-fashioned route of being a vampire. Also, Mystic Swords. I assume this is like our fans and shambles. Let's go. <laughs> okay. But I assume Mystic Swords is a evolution of like vampire killing weapons. I forgot the, the word now. I forgot the term. But like weapons used to kill, you know, the vampires and other undead and all that shit. I assume they're like an evolution of that. Because if they can fight this A-ray species on a equal level without anything else. Yeah, conceptual weapons, that's what I'm thinking of. Because I'm like, those are really strong. And if you tell me the Mystic Swords can fight these A-rays at an equal level, they sound like they're just evolved, you know, conceptual weapons. Mystic Sword, Knight Arms. The name of the weapon that knights carry. Every line of born of this word... Of this word? Okay, I assume it means word. Receives the influence of grain. Babies born with a large amount of grain inside of them at the time of birth shape it as if it's their bones as they mature. When they reach adulthood, the Mystic Sword is birthed from their body. What the fuck? What the hell? Because they are created with the unanalyzed entity Grain, Mystic Swords are able to create- are able to cause various phenomena. Their powers are strong enough to be considered weapons. 
That that is cool as fuck. Yo, Nasu, what is with you creating cool shit and not doing anything with it? That sounds cool as fuck. That's actually cool as shit. Only a few only a few humans are able to form a mystic sword. And only those who wield a mystic sword capable of being used in a real battle are enlisted as knights. Only one mystic sword exists for each knight. So it's like... So it's like... It's like a so mystic swords to put a, an example that works for so that, people, that people understand. It's like a quirk in my hero, right? Because each quirk's unique, right? It's kind of like that. That has a diaphragm to exist. Yeah, this is like a this is like the fail save of fail saves, bro. That's what this is. Like holy, this is like the fail save of the fail save of the fail save. Good lord. All right. So what is grain? Grain is ether. Well, no, of course it is. Cosmic dust. It's a name given to all harmful and unmeasurable particles which flooded from the planet after it lost its functions. Grain comes from wheat. Of course it does. Although it is hazardous to humans, in rare cases, it can make unique changes to their bodies, lean some people to call this substance ether. The 100 a race subspecies, human species, and knights are all new species brought forth by the effects of grain. Energy conversion rate of the grain dispersed into the air is incredible, and has resulted in a new level of warfare that was never before possible on this planet. In this battle between the A-rays, who can take grain into their bodies, and those who have crystallized grain to forge mystic swords, all weapons of the old era have become useless. Yo, this sounds like... You know what this, this kind of makes me think of? Because this is before Karno Kyoka was written, or as he was writing it, which means it's before he wrote Mahoyo, is this like, so at the end of it all, when the planet's dead and there's nothing else, and we only got this grain ether shit, everyone is just using true magic? <laughs> did, did the world of magic just fucking give up? It's like, alright, fuck it, never can have it. Oh, planet's dead anyway, doesn't matter. Everyone gets that true magic. Because that's what it sounds like. No? Okay, never mind. Shut up. I was waiting for a no to happen eventually. Notes. Original Sin, Public Garden, Roman, After Images, How a Star is Born, and Glitter Love. This is a mutation, new thing comes from the grain, which is the residual entity of the dead planet, which is pretty metal. It is. So, so grain is just what it is described as. It's grain. It's nothing, it's not like, it's not like it's a... Um, it's not like an after effect of anything. It's just grain is just as it's described, it's grain cosmic dust. That's about it. It's not leftover true magic or anything like that. Okay. Grain is grain. Got it. 19 that oh brother. Damn, yeah, this shit is old. <laughs> Ooh, it's in May of 1999. Also, uh before the day's over, uh I know time probably changed in Japan by now, but it was it's it's uh, Taguchi's birthday today. Which is also why we're reading this. Cause it's his birthday today! It's already passed in Japan, obviously. Uh, time's already switched. But for us, it's still the 28th. So, you know. Happy birthday, Taguchi! Let go! That's crazy. Yeah, no, I lined this shit up perfectly. Oh, neat. Yeah, I saw it earlier today. It's like, oh yeah, right. That is right. Oh yeah. Oh, actual character dialogue now. Alright, so how do I read this? Down and then down this way? I assume it's like the Mahoyo book. Where it's just down, you know, down like this. Left column first and right column. Okay, got it. So left left to right, like a book. Okay. As I came home from work, I saw an angel holding a guitar. Right column first and left. Okay. After several days passed, I went to the hospital. There's nothing wrong with your brain, answered a fish faced doctor. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I have no context, but I like that already. <laughs> Fish faced? What? Alright. <clears throat> Wait, no. Not actually right to left. 
not actually right to left. I, I was, I, yeah, I know, I know. It's, I know, it's all the way down. All the way, down. it's left, I know, it's all the way down, and then it's sort of, yeah, I got you, I got you. It's because Minin said right column, then left. It's because he said right, then left, I'm like, okay, okay, I'll be the right one then. Okay, sure. The doctor becomes a fish. I know, right? Crazy. All right, all right, all right, let me start reading. After I came home from work, I saw an angel holding guitar. Fitting music. Seems to have finally gone insane. Long, blonde, wavy hair and a pure white one-piece dress. The reason I left behind hints of girlish youth and a ring of light above her head. This girl wasn't an angel. What in the world could she be? Good evening. Angel bowed with an awkward smile. I rubbed my eyes and walked inside. Angel kept standing in the middle of the room holding the guitar. For some reason, was looking at me excitedly. What the hell are you? <laughs> I'm an angel. She laughed with a sweet smile. Nasu, this is the first time you made the blonde, the blonde, the main heroine. It's like that one meme from... Is it Jimmy Neutron? I think it's Jimmy Neutron. Look at this! I present to you, for show and tell, a blonde main heroine. Man, it's been like the third time this... It's been like the seventh time this week, man. Could you please think of something else? Where am I? Right, I can see that. What I meant was, why are you in my room? If you're here to sell yourself, you came to the wrong room. I had to break it to you, but I'm not earning enough to buy an angel. Why? Why is Buddy's first thought? Hold on, hold on. Why is Buddy's first thought a girlish youth, as in she's kind of young, and your first thought is, oh, she wants to, you know, fuck. Why is that your first thought, man? Hold on. I get you in war, so it's kind of messed up, but like. <laughs> I remember hearing Arc was actually based on a real life model. Type one week has a picture of her. <gasps> hey, you got the link. Yeah, I want to see. Too broke to fucking angel. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm too broke to fucking angel. Damn. That's crazy. Um, I'm not here to sell myself. What's the best way of putting it? I want to look after you. Oh my god, here it is. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> I get it. Yeah. I don't know who this. I don't know her name, but yeah. No, yeah, I get it. I yeah. Good God. D <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is just arc, but IRL. Dang. You're just some random foreign model. And they'll never- And the best part is, they will never know. <laughs> they will never know what series they fucking inspired just because of what they looked like on this day. That's crazy. <clears throat> I can do that myself. Get out. Hey, that's not fair. I'll- I'll do anything you want. Well, since she begged me to, I ended up letting her clean my room. The result? I've seen far more gruesome than a tragedy. You'll never know that they are, in fact, a funny vamp, right? Um, my cooking is perfect, the angel said, raising the tip of her finger up. Yeah, that's great and all, but my body can't take in factory produce food. It's way too much nutrition, and I bet my blood vessels would burst open. Get what I'm saying? The angel nodded her head in agreement. She seemed to understand that I'm similar to a liner. Not an A-ray. So, what else can you do? I can play the guitar. The girl said so happily, strumming the guitar in her hands. The blue guitar was one of the types that used electricity to produce sound. It wasn't the kind of thing that could ever put something like that of an... Huh? It wasn't the kind of thing that could ever suit something like that of an angel. Also, she just plain sucked. <laughs> He's a cringe unit. These should terms on the bottom of the page are read after the right column, by the way. Okay. So, this is afterwards. Okay. Bro's a hater? He re- I don't know bro's name, but so far he's just a hater for this angel. It's like, she's doing her best. Please just, come on, man. 
Thanks, but no thanks. Now it's about time you left. But you had to buy a hand and put her out of the window. Hey, ow! D <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Fucking yeet! Get out! Fucking threw her eyes out the window. Damn! After several days passed, I went to the hospital. There's, uh, there's nothing wrong with your brain. Answer that fish face, doctor. Every day since then, I had to finish your work. Wasted energy chasing away that angel. Eventually, I caved in and let her in. The sky. It's dark. Angel mother looking out at the sky from the window. Angel didn't even know that. Figures. She didn't even seem to be one of the artificial angels amongst the hundred A-ray species. Hey, where'd you come from? Guess you're not an A-ray from this side of the rift. I'm not an A-ray. Well then, what are you? I'm the fantasy that this city's people give in form. That's why I'm so pretty. Not that everyone has such pure hearts. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sh I'm sure they're so pure hearted. Yeah. I don't know why they made you look like that, but yeah, sure. The angel twirled around happily. Edge of her skirt waving like a dress. Now that she mentioned it, she certainly carried a visage of a fantasy. Angels were too beautiful to pass through this land of steel. Her golden hair was so dazzling, yet paradoxically reminiscent of poison. So that meant... She was an illusion only I could see? So... You want to explain what the manifestation of everyone's fantasies is doing in my room? It's obvious that I'm here because you're the guy who killed me! This is just Tsukihime. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is just Tsukihime. What? Holy shit. He brought the plot point back again. <laughs> it's just Tsukihime. <laughs> Actually just Tsukihime. Damn. So when everyone said they wanted Tsukihime too, we got it. It's not around the same thing for 10 years. Based. And the fact it's become popular every single time. Has some tragic main hero. His support heroine, a blonde lady. So Tsukihime 2 was just Notes 2. So what you're saying is a remake is just Notes remake. Oh my god. That's crazy. She got more mad at me the fact I didn't realize him. That more than the fact that I killed her. Did she come in to get revenge then? She answered back, what's revenge? She's the dumbest arc too. So if you kill a blonde woman, she will actually not die, but will harass you for the rest of your life. That is a horrible takeaway, but that's the gist of it, yeah? Horrible takeaway from Tsukihime's story, or notes beginning here, but <laughs> yeah, basically. Eventually, the angel became quite handy compared to before, still learning various things over time. She seemed to understand what cleaning actually meant now. Instead of being anything related to guitars. I'm not improving with the guitar at all. Playing it just like a, what I'm imagining the sound to be. What I'm thinking and what's coming out are completely different. I see. So she was interested in playing... In playing it? If that's the case, then it was clear that it was highly unlikely to go well. No shit. The guitar needs tuning, you know. Yep. Screwed up from the beginning. The angel tilted her head and asked, What's tuning? Oh, brother. This girl doesn't know the goddamn basics of it all. I can't believe this shit. You know what I really hit right now? Some rain. If it was raining outside, I could hear it trinkle into the window. That hit right now with this music, us cozy up, cozy up in our homes reading. Hold on, that hit right now. Alright. <clears throat> the sky. It's dark. Cloud sky. Cloud covered sky. The mystery clearest of clouds have hidden the sky since the Great War. This means the sky isn't grey. Here is that the sky, the real sky, cannot be seen. Alright. Angels. Number 20, Guardian Angel. Artificial i am show with a bucket of water and throw it at your window? That's not quite what I'm thinking here, but okay. <laughs> Artificial angels within the 100 subspecies of A-rays. Ranked 20 out of the 100. From the aspect of destroying matter alone. They come close to the 10th ranked species. A 
colony that protects a single A-ray species. It possesses the characteristics of the angels originating from the old world's largest religion, a human species with a pair of avian wings. An aggressive species that uses the heavy particles that disperse into the atmosphere after the world's end as a source of power by absorbing them into their bodies. The fuck that is, not the water, I'm keeping the water. Then, huh? Humans, last seed. A human species that did not undergo any selective breeding. Neither did their descendants. Since they are unable to survive on this planet, it is said, it is said that they are on the verge of extinction. In order for humans to live slash survive in the outside world, they need the support of medicines or machines. If the air is inhaled, unmedicated, or unprocessed, it will result in death. To make matters worse, factory-produced food cannot be eaten. Nutrients raise the physical abilities so much that it becomes poisonous to humans instead. They are rare, but not valuable. Okay, so being a human in this world fucking sucks. Got it. Can't go outside, can't eat food, like processed food, you know, at the fucking convenience store. Okay. So it just sucks being here. Got it. I'm a pure human. Got it. Seriously. Ana, you don't- you can eat processed food and not fucking explode. What are you talking about? You can also go outside and not die of poisonous gases. Alright, calm down. But yeah, basically, man, don't be pure human. Yeah, be anything but a pure human. Alright. A pair of feather wings like that of a bird grow from the backs of a humanoid-bodied woman. Despite their beautiful modeling, those creatures are called angels. My job is to shoot 12 angels dead each day. So it honestly was very surprising that I was seen as an enemy amongst all beings known as angels. That explains why the angel showed up asking why the fuck you killed her. Alright. I came to this place a year ago. Rather a unique city within the land of steel. No plants can grow on the surface of this dead planet. Yet every manner of great colored tree had grown all over the city. In a withered grass field on top of a hill. In the hill at the center of the city, there were two gigantic trees concealed in the sky. These trees even reached a sea of clouds and were named the world trees for their immense size. I chose my job as an angel hunter. In this city, angels come flying down from the sky and attack people every day. They are unintelligent creatures, resembling angels only in appearance. Although they do attack people, they're only they're only pests akin to wild dogs, doing little actual harm. But if we left them alone, the city would be swarmed by angels. So the city council had to hire hunters. I didn't know if the angels had a set location they came down came down to. I saw a lot of them in the forest on the outskirts of the city. The world of Season Blade 2. And there it is again, my goat Nasu. Inspiring all of fiction. <laughs> Pulling on the trigger of the, my rifle, I caught the impact with my shoulder. The naked angel fell down and hit the floor. We shot right in the forehead. The forest, the forest, fl <laughs> the forest floor was littered with falling leaves and countless angel corpses. Crossing the earth's harsh terrain, I returned into the walls that surrounded the city. A beast man who was in charge of a different post was waving his hand as he approached me. Yo, how's business? Yo, hey, Crisis. Uh, you can actually join for this stream, I think, because there's nothing really Tsukihime important here. It's important for Gia Toya, but that's so far removed. What is this? This is a a work by Nasu called no Notes. It sports everything. Right, we can now... We gotta be careful what we say now. <laughs> but yeah, this is a work that he, he wrote before... A garden of sinners called angel notes and it's not so works with Edinburgh you fucking write that don't it's interesting so far it starts off basically like Tsukuyume a blonde woman gets killed she comes back asks what the fuck you're doing you know <clears throat> yeah that's business nothing out of the ordinary three coppers per kill consider the price of the bullet I won't even have a single copper for myself that's because you use a gun. You're a man. Use your body. I can't do that, I'm afraid. Fortunately, I'm not that well built. I'll be poisoned by the open air unless I take medicine. I'm just doing my best to stay alive. Oh, is that so? That's inconvenient. 
So it's being human, huh? Yeah, sure is. Just part of being human. Yo, oh, look, Arahika. Well, I had to give him some voice, so I'm like, fuck it. He sounds like the kind of guy. Alright, so Christ, so in the Hursura, it's revealed that- Ooh. That's right. In this world, being human is definitely inconvenient. What's up, K and K? Yo, which movie you want? Also, I hope you're liking it, because... Because it's really good, so I hope you do like it. That must, that must have been why the human beings of the old age had to dream up a lot of inventions. The result was the creation of the A-Race, and that led to the preparations for the Great War. Just like that, pure humans became the victims of natural selection. Crazy. I guess you could say I'm done. I already got through all the main things on the last 10 minutes of movie 9 and 9.5 left now. Yay! I love those movies. Honestly, I just love all of them. But yeah, 9 and 9.5 are pretty good. 9 is the... That's the one with... The Void Shiki, right? Yeah. That it's a... I let the characters Ada's eight right Ada's the void cheeky, right? And that is just holy yapping. <laughs> I was when we were watching it with my when I was watching it with my mother. I'll be honest, bro. I forgot how much fucking talk I like, how much is dumped on you in terms of talking and lore. It's like holy shit, god. <laughs> nice one, mana. Right, now it's the mana one. That one's pretty fun. And nine point five, it's the one with Seo, right? Yeah. It's definitely... It it kind of is, but it's like, damn. As far as Ken King goes, there's only one arc that still hasn't been adapted. Not sure if it's going to ever get a movie. Damn. But the text is fan translated. I mean, I could read that at some point. Just as an offshoot on a Wednesday like this, where we read like, some of the offshoot Nasu stuff. We could do that, yeah? Have, eight be, have uh, Wednesdays be offshoot Nasu workdays. Just like... Pick up on things that we haven't picked up, like that fan translated Nasu thing. Thank you, Twitch, for these big fat four ads. Alright, listen, I'm sorry, but I need to make money on here. Actually, that sounds cut a bit. I apologize. Imagine getting ads. Well, Ana, not everyone can afford us. They increased the, the sub, alright? Ana, it's more expensive now. You realize it's more expensive now, right? Especially on mobile. It's even they made it more expensive again on mobile. Worth. I mean, you get some killer, killer emotes. I'm not gonna lie, and more coming eventually. More coming soon. So like, you're not wrong. <clears throat> All right, I'm itchy, and then we're gonna get right back to it. See, like that, exactly. You get some killer emotes, so you know it's. I I think it's worth it. Yeah. All right, back. Welcome back. Yeah, we could. I could read the um, that trans that fan translator arc. Um, since it seems to not be getting a movie. So. We could do that for Wednesdays. Just have Wednesdays be where we read like, not so works we haven't done yet. Unless everyone keeps saying the Void Reveal isn't that important after everything else we saw. I'm crazy because learning about the origin of Shiki's impulses, her ability, and her personality was really... Yeah, it's really important. Whatever people saying that, they just don't... They just think it's fucking boring. I kind of wish... Just wish you could hear the stream audio while the ads are going on. Yeah. Yeah. It is boring. Yeah, like, it, it is boring going through all of it, but it's still important. It's boring as shit, but it's valuable information. In the in the long run, it's valuable information that explains a lot of things that happened through the previous movies. So don't skip Void, alright? Don't skip it. You gotta watch it. Fuck is it boring? God damn. I mean we did I I mean I didn't zone out too much. I didn't zone it too much, but sometimes I did, yeah. A few times. It's like, God, you're still fucking talking? Jesus. Now is it more interesting, though? I'm sure it is. <clears throat> Alright. Let's see here. Let's get back to it. Speaking of reading. Some of the movie makes things seem more abstract about Nasa and how Nasa writes. That sounds like you're foldable. 
Honestly, that sounds like affordable. And see, movie eight, it's nothing but talking, right? Which is what Mahoyo is majority, right? So I really am worried how they're gonna do the Mahoyo movie. Because the majority of that is like movie eight, it's talking and like exposition and lore dumping. It was visually pleasing and just a monologue, not good enough for me. Exactly, right? Good enough. It was nice to look at, it was pretty, but like, damn. You just some Steins Kid or Clan I please? Please, man. I mean, she, I can, I'll watch, I don't care if the Mahoya movies are dead as just like Void. Because I just like listening to Alice, Sojuro, and Alcos, I don't care. But it's like, damn. What's that gold standard of Vienna annotations? Honestly, don't blame him, that's fair. It's going to be like four hours long. We're about to see the greatest amount of content ever seen in an adaptation. Considering it's supposed to only be one movie, as far as we know. Uh, they haven't said if it's going to be more than one, or what not. Uh, you're right, Menon. They're going to bot botch the shit out of Mahoyo, and that will be very sad. One of my favorite scenes, the bridge scene, in the actual chapter, will not be in the movie, and I will be depressed. All right. All right. <clears throat> So I got the mouth to feed, I increased my workload. Man, that angel sure can eat. Materials produced at the factories of three, but there's a limit. I have to increase my data quota from 20 to 30. The boys on bridge will be a crime, honestly, yeah. Can this song not? I have to hate. Was there an indication the mobile will speed run too? I mean, yeah. Need we if the, I swear, chat. If they cut the aquarium excursion, bro, I'm gonna be pressed. I will be so mad. I will be so mad if they cut the aquarium, bro. I swear to God. That's because that's the scene that made me fall. That's that's that whole outing made me fall in love with Alice's character, bro. I swear to God. I like the plot and the characters overall, but I don't really like media, which would like too much on show don't tell mentality mostly because it was catch on too late. That's fair. What's happening to an old anime I've seen? I don't like that. Yeah. But yeah, they did. Like, just gonna show on camera. Where? No, no, it's fine, Minnan. It's fine. It's it's complete. Uh, not a minute. Crisis. I there's a lot going on. My brain's mixed. It's it's completely fine. Crisis. I don't blame you at all. There there are times on the first viewing where I missed things, because there was just a lot that I caught on the second view. So I don't blame you at all. I don't blame you. But everything is telling. <laughs> True. The wonder snatch and afterwards the trace station. Yeah, do I not to worry about the wonder snatch thing? I I mean to worry about it. I just want like the excursion with Alco and Alice. Fan fiction. Ugh. A hard time making out the whole idea or message behind the plot. Well, I'm with you on that because I mean it's just like. I don't know, it's so, the way I see it, it's just, it's just a telling of like things Shiki went through, right? And it ended with her, you know, being with Mikio. You know? And with the side stories, yeah. But you're right about that, man. They did, some of the KNK stuff is good. They can do it. I, I believe they could do Mahoya movie good. It's just the fact that we only know it's going to be one so far. They haven't stated otherwise. That That's like the thing that is worrying me. We don't know if there's more than one. And they can't wrap it all up in one. Or even two. I don't think they can do it in three. <clears throat> Alright. <clears throat> Ironic, it's to kill more angels to feed an angel. 
Working hard these days, are you? Just relieving stress. This target actually look very similar to what's stressing me out. Makes this job exciting. I split up. Spilled out my complaints in desperation, the beastman tilted his head, lacking any sympathy. It's good that you dedicate to your job. Watch your back, though. I've heard that there are some knights inspecting the forest. Apparently a guy with a mystic sword was studying up on you. What the hell? Is an aerosol coming this way? I don't know. More importantly, they say our pay is getting lowered again this month. That's a more realistic life or death situation, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. It's getting worse and worse. Mr. Burrow wants us dead too. I never done anything wrong though. Yeah, right. This guy's a person who murdered over 50 human species. Liners. The way it's focusing on yin yang, personality, how it's shaped, the conclusion itself makes me believe it's about how people have their own personalities and they build up from how a dumb aspect of others' personality, and that's how they can achieve happiness? That's. I. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Yeah, that's a way to look at it. I mean, personally, I just took every movie as their own little message of things, but yeah. From a few knowledge, I got a good translation. Well, I, I mean, I guess that's, that's not entirely wrong, Crisis. Uh, yeah, that's not wrong because Shiki found happiness in the end in Mikia, right? So, yeah, that's not it's seeking happiness in companionship. That could be it. It could be something that simple, couldn't it? Like, companionship brings you happiness? But that seems too simple for Nasu. So... I, I don't know. I, I'm really not sure, I'm gonna be honest. Oh. He's my side and looked over at a pile of angel corpses across, across, scattered across the forest. You think we can eat them? No, that's a bad idea. Forget it, you're probably asking for some divine punishment. Shrug my shoulders, I gave an obvious reply. Aristotle's one. Eight life forms that appeared at the end of the Great War. Unidentifiable existences. Each Aristotle. Aristotle. Oh, it's Aristotle. Not Aristotle. Aristotle. Has significant difference, different appearance in biology. The origin of their name is unknown. The name's origin can be traced back to a philosopher from the old age. Consider both humanity and the Hunter A Ray subspecies to be their enemies. They attacked indiscriminately and often, as a result. As a result, humanity's foundation was completely destroyed and the number of A rays was greatly diminished at the hands of the Aristotles. That should say Ultra One in the bracket. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I'd think so. Still arises from the grave. Oh no. That's a common alternate name for him? Ah, to end humanity. Yippee. We still rely on meeting other people and learning how to be happy and who we are about learning and adapting from other people's personalities. Yeah. So I'd say that's, that could be about the message for K and K, but it did it in a very convoluted way. <laughs> Let's see here. After the Great War came to an end, their activities were slowed down by the sea of clouds that covered the sky. This will continue to erase all life forms on this planet. Since then, the human species and the A rays have separated themselves on a grand scale from humanity, and also become companions under ceasefire until the elimination of their common enemy, the Aristotles. Isn't philosophy fun? It can be. Yeah, it can be. Fuck no. What do you mean, no? It can be fun. If it's casual philosophy. Wonder when I'm analyzing shit I like. Uh, so you don't like K and K. Is that what I'm getting from this? I can't believe this. <laughs> no way. Base. <laughs> Fuck's sake. An angel called me on my way home from work. Not the freeloader. Not an angel-type A-ray. Not very social these days, are you? 
You're stupid enough to reject a beautiful woman like me. Oh, that's the angel. I mean, I didn't like it. I just hate the lesson. I stop, 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 stop. Renoa, you will copyright strike the shit out of me if I play that. I know. I can't play that song. I wish I could, but I can't. That's fair, though. The lesson version of philosophy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, when you're forced to learn, like, school and shit. I, that's fair. I, I, I figured you meant something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're forced to learn something, it's not really fun. But when you're, like, interested in the topic, and then you want to learn it, and then, like, you choose to learn it, that's when it's fun. Hard I'm saying agree. Not very social these days, are you? I think you're stupid enough to reject a beautiful woman like me. She said, marching me into a bar and thrusting a bear in front of me. Take everything you own, she will. It's true. I don't think I've spoken to her for about half a year. Let the dull conversation blossom before a heckler butter then. You should be spending your time with an A-Ray rather than that human type over there. I thought so too, but she shut him up with a glare. I'm sorry. Were you offended? Yeah, I don't feel good about it, but he's got a point. Why are you even spending time with someone like me? Don't the A-Rays prefer strong species? You think I can father a strong child? I'm sorry, but I can't do that. Come on. One little exception wouldn't hurt, right? Besides, our outward appearance is much more important. A-Ray species similar to angel types are few and far between. You're also my type, so it's no problem, really. So let's see how our... So actually, we can I skip the parts that start, which are going to be the same unless they're not. Um, right, the skipping thing. Um, there's a toggle you can turn on that skips previously read scenes. And that'll help you catch up to the point where it's things you haven't read yet. So turn that on. So, so make sure that's turned on. And you'll know if it's things you read, because if the text moves quickly, you've read it. If it moves slow, you haven't read it. That's sick? Exactly. But yeah, there's a, there's another thing. Again, the text moves fast, you've read it. It moves slow, you haven't read it. So it'll, like, notify you as it can. As much as it can to, like, what you've read, what you haven't. The speed thing? Yeah, exactly. There you go. Whoa. Oh my god, I'm smart. I'm able to help people? Crazy. You saw me as she brought a glass of purple fist to her lips. She did have the appearance of an angel. But her wings were not for flying. I just want to skip this as a different thing that starts in the middle of a scene. Uh, it will stop you on that scene. It will skip to that point, then. Man, has played the game? No way. But yeah, I can, I can concur, Crisis. It will just skip to that point in that scene, then. Yes, sir. So don't worry about that. No problem. Hope you enjoy reading it. Because... God, is it good. CL route's so good. Angel type air rays could fly without them, and their wings were said to be used to collect the heavy particles surrounding them. It's rumored that her subspecies, the four protectors of the six sisters, could match the mystic sword wielding knights in terms of fighting capability. In other words, they was capable of destruction on the level of a nuclear bomb by themselves. Wait. Are you saying this drunk lady in front of me has the power of a nuclear bomb? Extreme Ref now and Nasu fan actually in the source term instead of playing gotcha shit. Yes. Yep. Oh fuck. Maybe we should just go with what she's saying. Because she could just kill us. Right here, right now. <laughs> I probably use her music. I kept drinking and by the time she was completely out of it, she asked me something strange. Eh. Why do you use a gun? Well, uh, unlike A-Race, humans aren't able to use grain, you know? Our strength is limited too. It's not natural that we could have to rely on weapons. I mean, what other practical firearms could I use other than a gun? Huh, so that means humans are too weak to fight. Then why do you fight despite that? Yeah, it seems to be like that, doesn't it? Well, let's see. If I remember correctly, my family were killed when I was just a little brat. 
took up a gun or two and started practicing my aim like crazy. Nothing but revenge on my mind. What? I spent more than a typical story like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's boring, right? Yeah, that fourth smile wasn't fooling anyone. Neither was that pathetic attempt at a laugh. I never able to fake a laugh, not even once. But how is that boring? You mention the families, it must be the same species, right? Never heard of any humans living around here, except for you, of course. Thanks, Chris. Must have never told you, huh? I was born and raised in the Westland. Westland. Inside the Great Rift. Did you say... Westland? The... Uh, the continent that was raised by the Black Aristotle? Just silent after that. Makes sense. I must have been around 12 or 13 when Westland was burned to the ground. That's an old story from almost seven years ago. Isn't that the same? Wait a minute. 12 to 13. And then 7. So either 19 or 20, huh? So an adult. Okay. Also, 7 years again. I see you're using plot points, Nasu. Something happened 7 years ago. Sounds familiar, don't it, Shiki? <laughs> Sounds familiar, huh? Well, anyway, I'm curious. You know that awful job, right? That was a copy that was a legit Spider-Man meme. It really is. Absolutely not. There isn't any other job, there isn't any other job that a moron like me could do. I don't feel like being protected as a rare species either. So why are you still complaining about that? Those things aren't the same as you, so don't let it bother you. It's ridiculous. This is it actually Muggy Hisatono? I swear to fuck. It does bother me. I couldn't kill us about our about other guns for hire. It makes me sick that you of all people are killing angels every day. <laughs> well, what's your reason for hunting angels? It's because I'm twisted. It's just a job, that's all. Like I said before, there's nothing else I can do to put food on the table. Okay, I'm sort of thinking this guy's not right in the head. <laughs> I think this guy's not quite right in the head. Which I don't blame her. Found an excuse without looking her in the eyes, but her cold stare saw right through my lie. Whatever. You quit thinking. That's why you don't feel any pain. But you can't feel happiness either. We can have fun thinking about better times. You must be living your everyday life like a machine. That's why you need to rely on logical reason to motivate yourself. But not at all there. You're right. Linda talked down to me with this content expression on her face. What was so wrong with becoming a thoughtless machine? The idea that we were superior creatures just because we had the capacity for emotion was the real fantasy. Hmm. Once again, this is like... This is like... Karit bro, Karitsugu tried so hard to be this, but bro was not. This, this does sound like... Hmm. This sounds familiar. It, it sounds familiar. Man, Notes really was the fucking template. Damn, Vlov's on the scene? Didn't know that. What's with you today? Yeah, you're just trying to give me a hard time. That's what you're trying to give me a hard time. I am giving you a hard time. You're barely talking to me. Drunken Angel isn't a great looking, a great look either, you know. What do you mean? I'll have you know that I'm super popular in my hometown. You and I'm as drunk as this. Answering, yeah, yeah. I looked about my empty class. I was planning on holding back tonight, but I reached a point of passing out before her. Angel asks one last question. Hey, why do you fight? That's because... I don't want to die. Okay, so why do you don't you want to die? Because I was certain that I want to live. Why do you want to live? That's obvious. I kept on surviving because I'd never experienced anything that made life worth living. Not even once. Is that so? Lying on the logic of reason to live. 
You really are an immature creature. Just like that, she left first. Guess there was no fixing it. The world's within the post-apocalyptic... Post-apocalypse... Apocalypse! Because of humans that lived by their instincts. I need to rely on pessimistic reasonings. The only punishment given to hu given to the humans who were left behind. No to 1999, man. Yeah, and I'm not gonna lie. Cool as fuck. Honestly, I don't know his design, but he sounds cool as fuck. <laughs> but this... Again. Kind of... There's remnants of Shiki in here. Again. Very slight though. Like, no, it's, it's almost like you wouldn't even count it, but like... It's a little there. Poetry. Poetic. How good it is. That was Roman. Alright. Holy terms. Holy terms. Alright. <laughs> Six sisters. Number one saving system of Earth. Well, because the, the, the true answers didn't fucking work. One that I don't want to die is the Shiki. Well. Okay, no. It's, it's not. When you put it like that, man. No, of course not. But Shiki is very much so, he doesn't want to die. So... You know. Struggle with death in a desperate attempt to live. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but just the case is completely different. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see. <clears throat> Six sisters, one saving system of Earth. Beings who reigned over the hundred subspecies of A-Race at the time of the Great War. It's said they possessed the outward appearance of the human species itself. And all six looked like witches straight out of a fairy tale. Wearing black hats and running broomsticks. Each one of them carried an ability to surpass all hundred A-Race subspecies. During the Great War, the youngest sister, Judgment, was defeated by a knight. Her death cry created a great rift in the center of the continent. Everybody's so the remaining five are unknown. Riding on broomsticks, huh? That sounds familiar, don't it? Kuaku. Also, the fact... Someone... The fact her death cry... Split the continent is kind of crazy. The witches! That's kind of crazy. The, the scream you... Your deaths... Your, it's just death scream, right? Your... Your dying breath created a rift in a continent, bro. Good lord. Black Aristotle. Type Jupiter. So fun fear is that the each sister is supposed to be a magician sorcerer. I can see that. Because they're probably revealing they probably wield true magic though. And well, that shit could be, you know, just about anything. So I can see that. I can see that being true. That does sound like a fun theory. You're right. And our stolen that appeared in the west in Westland, a black giant, several dozens of kilometers in length. Its form was extremely close to that of a human being. Heaven's corpse, an awesome name. What's that? Our souls are often called type celestial body. So type moon is actual character. I did know that type moon is an actual character. Yeah, that I did know. Heaven's corpse. That was a crimson. Yeah, that's a crimson moon, isn't it? Right. Also, where did you get heaven's corpse from on there? What the hell? Where did you get that from? Where did you read that? It was a nice brune suit of the Crimson Moon. Yeah! On the screen. Well, I I guess I didn't get to it yet. I guess I'll, I'll, I'll see you when I get to it. In truth, it was a gathering of black photon gas which could theoretically expand infinitely in size. Bottom right. Heaven's corpse. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was 
gonna drink my water and then be quiet for like a second. <clears throat> I'm gonna run an ad. 30 seconds. <laughs> Dunk on his dam. That's fucking something, yeah. I didn't think about that. I didn't even think about that. Jesus. What the fuck did we do to deserve this? A lot of things. A mountain of gas contained an undefinable nucleus at its core that was impossible to explain other than being a pseudo sun. The body of photon gas seems to have been emitted from that object. Named Aristotle's type Jupiter has erased the most life. Sent the Western continent into an all out war and wiped them out without a scar. Although there are probably no such concept like scars to this Aristotle. She's gonna title of Blood Sky, you know. Yeah. But an Oort is a type of the Oort clan, a region with a bunch of comments in the outer solar system. I think I did read that somewhere as well, because Oort is a very interesting character. So I did read up on some Oort stuff, and I did read in that somewhere, yeah. Really fucking cool. Later, after a battle with the knights who were dispatched to the west, was bisected by knights Knight Edom's mystic sword, Slash Emperor, the bisected her stolen pseudo-sun rampaged, and the entire surface of the western continent was scorched. Oh. Thought he was type Mercury, after revealed he was actually from the Oort cloud. Well, I mean, that makes sense, he's called Oort. So, <laughs> Reposo. Well, I don't. It doesn't sound like like our soul's dead. So I don't know. I don't know about Reposo on it. Considering Knight Edom, he dis he dispersed. You know, Pack was rest in piss. He didn't die though, because he's literally mentioned like here. He's not. I don't think he's dead. On Western continent, ah, you could have been specific, man. Because <laughs> Bozo implies the single individual, but Bozo's is all of them. It implies more than one. <laughs> but in that case, yeah, rip the continent, bro. Do I feel like Ark? They have Bozo mortality, probably. Fun. Yeah, I assume that it was uh, followed others. Not to me. The streamer's stupid. Please understand. But. Yeah, I assume Black like, Arsol is living just fine. Because. Well, Jesus Christ. <laughs> the Crucifix. Type Saturn. Crucifix like Aristotle. Total length reaching 3,000 meters. Is he long enough? Its outer shell is composed of luminous minerals and has no pattern whatsoever. The flying object sends down a deadly rain of light with the visage of the Holy Cross. It's three kilometers. Dang. Fun gas got watching him sleep. Watching. Waiting. Yeah, that's 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 long. Each raindrop is a one meter long electromagnetic shock with the shape of a cross. It explodes and scatters upon contact, annihilating all surrounding life forms. I... Wait a fucking minute. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I. I don't know if this is even, like, possibly what is happening. In FGO, in Ordeal Call 3, the whole thing that BB Dubai is doing, she's gathering on the moon cell, she's gathering people or beings that can annihilate humanity. And I mean, type Earth is there, you know, Ark, she's there, right? She hasn't stated how many are showing up, but she's told us to pick between who will annihilate humanity in the year 2999. And, I mean, by the sound of it, all of these types can do that just fine. So... Is FGO going to introduce note characters? Hold on. 
are they going to introduce the other types? You know, Saturn, you know, Saturn, Jupiter, Venus, and all that. So Aqua is a can of type Earth. She sells things like Altruids. Altruids, though. Can't be called the ultimate one, which means the strongest on the celestial body. Free Amazon and a remake first. No! Wait. I just like the sound of that. But I mean, the way it is brought, the way it is explained, Pies, it is that, oh, Ark's here because she is one of the beings that can wipe out humanity. So, you know, you can, you know, that's why she's on the moon cell. So, I mean, I don't know. Hey, f is doing his own thing. I don't fucking know. Ah, oh, yes. Ark was altered. The young sister that looks like an adult woman versus the old sister that looks like a child. Oh, of course. My favorite confrontation. Do some of the Well, no. He... <laughs> One day. I mean, people thought all truths is going to happen for anniversary, so... Never mind. Let's see. There are other variations of these crosses of light, which can pe perforate the Earth's surface, causing earthquakes to destroy the very land where people live. Black Bear apparently shows up and lost about five, but I'm far from getting there. Wait, really? Hold up. I didn't know that. The fuck? I will use my mosh. Oh yeah, the gun! God, I'm stupid. The big fucking gun she uses. I just, I think, yeah, I remember here. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, the big fucking gun. Kill me now times two. Uh. F2 is just, F2 is not even a fake game anymore, man. F2 is not even a fucking fake game anymore. It's a type moon game. Go to the shitty gods. The fact that nowadays people say that Type Moon is just a gotcha company, it's like, no, but you're not wrong. It's not, but you're not wrong. It does make like billions of dollars. It, I, We can't deny its success, but we're not to be mad that it is successful, all right? I want my visual novels. You're right, and that makes me mad. Like, I want visual novels from that company, not gotcha games, man. Alright, <clears throat> in normal as they may be, perhaps these crucifixes stuck into the earth mark stuck into the earth mark the deaths of their victims, not unlike the gravestones spread across the wasteland. It's faintly titled The Flying Fortress and is thought to be the leader of the Aristotles within the planetary sphere. Hmm. You're right, Pies, you're right. I Longinus, I know that word. Why the fuck does F2 have not fucking notes content stuck to Mashu of all people? I can't believe this. Tell me about it. Fuck's sake. That's right, that only close weapon us to buy times you can work on Red Guard. Well, you say. Yeah, you say that. It was for him to get off time from Red Guard, but now he's making Ordeal Call 3, which was meant to be the. F he was making Ordeal Call 3, which got turned to 4. And now we got a new ordeal called 3 on top of the summer event. So it's like, brother, what are you doing? I've read every Nasu work except for FG and I feel out of the loop with a lot of type moon concepts. Yeah. Just probably in so many things. FG as a whole, it just. There are times where I look at FGO and I'm like, hell yeah, FGO is great. But other times it's like, man, this game just makes me mad. Because it's it's not, but it, fe it really feels like FGO takes away from other things they could be doing. Well, it's not taking Nostra too seriously. True. Don't take it too seriously. It's got goofy shit in it. We accept that. Yeah, man. I have, I have times where I, I like FGO. I, I'll play it a lot and I'll enjoy what they're doing, like the character release, and I'll just not give a shit. And then there's other times, like with this event or with the Mahoyo event, I'm like, why the fuck are you doing this here? Why are you doing it like this? 
I it's it's cool, but like why the fuck is there a Mahoyo collab? And it's related to content you haven't even published yet. The gameplay is so bad. I think the gameplay is fine. I don't know if I can. That's f I, I can't force someone to like it. So I don't blame you, Minon. I don't blame you at all. The combat can be. It's kind of mm, whatever, but it's enjoyable. Just so you don't know ever catch up. I mean, you just take your time, Pies. Cuts is hundreds of hours? Yeah. Honestly, Pies, just take your time. Because part two is this next story bit, like, uh, with Ordeal Call 4. It's ending next year, right? And that'll be the end of the FGO story, we assume. That's the end of the FGO story. Again, we assume it's the end of the FGO story, so... Yeah, right? So you have time to catch up. I mean, they really say it's the end of part two. So... What that means after that, I don't know. It's not in the service, obviously. They wouldn't do that. But... That means no more story or not, I don't know. Okay, music got really intense for what is just talk about FGO, but I guess that makes sense. And that's fun because someone is some fucking fate. fate. I'm not even mad he's working on fate, right? Heck yeah, I'm not even mad about it. It's just like, could you not ignore everything else you have to? Let's see, Black Barrel Longinus. Black gun belonging to God to Gun God. Of course this guy is called Gun God. Because it is made of a mineral that conflicts with grain, it's quite possible to say that the black barrel is a natural enemy of all life forms that contain even a minuscule amount of grain. True, Fate Sun's vision is my favorite work of fiction, but I kinda want to focus on other type of branches. Yeah. Cause you know what the worst part is? Apparently in a interview with the I forgot his name. But um for Type Moon not Type Moon, but um the Fate Extra remake. New Fate Extra Record or whatever. Apparently I don't know if I can find it. I don't think I can. I can go back far enough so I can find it, but I can't promise it. Apparently the, the reason it happened that they're remaking uh, the original Fate Extra. It's because the guy who made Fate Extra, he really wanted people to play it. And then he, he tweeted out something or whatever that he really wanted people to play it. And then Tide Moon saw it and then said, oh, if you want to do it, then do it. And it's like, huh? It's that easy? Just if you want to do it, then do it. If this is the mentality you're working with, when where the fuck is anything else? If that's the mentality here, then, where the fuck is all the other type works? What? It's just that easy. Like, what? It was that easy to get a Fate Extra remake. Are you... Are you dead ass? That simple. Not sure what extra? I... You don't have fucking lots of money, nothing is impossible. Yeah, uh, yeah, not sure what extra, yeah, yeah. But I, I forget who... Who was that? It was one of the devs or something for the original. Find the original um, interview. Isn't that going to be easy? Because it was a while ago now. It was earlier today, so I can't find it. But that's what I read, so. I should probably let you read this page, though. I, I mean, we're talk. I mean, we're like... Ha we're like over halfway, we're almost done already, like we're almost or, or it's done, so all this talking and just this is, the, the Wednesday is just for Type Moon content, right? Wednesday is at least today, it's just Type Moon content so, that's fine it's definitely an experience let's keep bitching about FG <laughs> but I do appreciate boss, let's see <clears throat> read, pain, not the good kind However, in this world where every life form has been influenced by grain, there isn't anyone left that can use or even touch it. It is the God Slaying Gun. Weapon Saga contains a great power, in other words, grain, but its killing capacity will rise in proportion to the amount of grain within. Now, with this gun, the value of a particular rare species has changed. Those life forms that lack the ability to evolve in response to grain, and complete the void of it, can touch the black barrel without any consequences. 
Um, isn't this just the gun Kiritsuka uses? Isn't this Dedas just the magic circuit gun Kiritsuka uses? So, yeah, that's that's the gun Masha uses, yeah, in Last Battle 5, yeah. No, that's just the gun. But it does the same thing. The more magic circuits you have, the stronger the effect. It's the same thing. And also reusing concept again. Concept of death on things. Oh. Damn. So it's... Um, Hassan, but a gun. Considering that's what Hassan did to, you know, Tiamat in Babylonia. <laughs> oh, so it's Hassan in a gun. Isn't that nice? So shitty makes a death perception. Got it. Basically, yeah. The sky. It's red. Blood sky. The sky of this world. There is no blue sky above the sea of clouds. This sky spreads out as far as the eye can see. I don't know if it actually kills things, but at least makes things killable. Types usually aren't. Unless the gun is used. Fair. It isn't because the air is polluted. During the final years of the Great War, a lone Aristotle came flying into the atmosphere. Type Pluto. Whose blood stained the sky a crimson red. When Pluto was attempted to invade the atmosphere, it was confronted by six sisters who all attacked at once. Type Pluto's blood completely enveloped the planet. Grey clouds that conceal the sky are considered to be a protective barrier that the six sisters placed. In this red sky, two other Aristotles swim through the sea of blood like floating fish. They want to access the planet itself. Huh. But we- wait. Gotta play astronomy here. There's two skies? Awesome. I'm like- wait a minute. So... I thought the Six Sisters were... Bad guys. But they fight... Pluto? Saturn view for Venus are accounted for. Only awkward is immune to me, Saturn. At night, you spread around her, she can be able to see your lines. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm. I thought the six sisters were. Earth is dead. One is dead. Cop kit. Yeah. Ha! Huh, my favorite vocal track in Tsukihime. When Noel goes through her shtick. <clears throat> anyway. But yeah, I thought the six sisters were. You know. Or Crib Mars? There is, you know, the ring he was to fight the type or the types. That makes sense. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they don't want the types. The types are like, from the looks of it, the ultimate evil. Like, they are like the plague. The types are the plague and they gotta go. So even the six sisters will be like, hold on. Nah. Well, gets this man, because it's the saving system of Earth. So of course they fight anything that's not from Earth. That makes sense. Okay. Okay. Now for Anna's favorite, by the sound of it, Heaven's Corpse, type Venus. An Aristotelist estimated to be a thousand meters long, appeared after the Great War, flying within the sea of clouds. Its shape was unable to be confirmed, nor could anyone report any exact features of its appearance. Type Pluto is dead then? Yes. Considering it became the Red Sea above the clouds. So yeah, I assume Pluto's dead. There's a life form that has grown two wing like appendages, and compared to other Aristotles, it is close to the evolutionary tree of this planet. According to records, during the 83rd year of the new calendar, it was shot down in an extermination operation carried out by the Order of Knights and fell somewhere on the continent. Originally, it was a life form that fell onto the surface of the planet, sinking its roots onto into the land, scanning the corpse's ego, manifesting a spore seen away at the life on this planet. In short, it can be roughly described as a gigantic carnivorous planet. Fortunately, it was put to sleep using the Black Barrel. That sounds like Cyranos, doesn't it? Because he's like a part of the planet in Last Belt 6. 
Right, that sounds like Sura knows, right? Because he's like a giant corpse and the fairies made a land out of it. Right? Am I remembering Lost World 6 correctly? This corpse is a fucking name. It really is. I'm sh I'm mad this name is coined and taken. So we can't use it. Fuck. I can't coin this term. It's already been used by Nasu. Fuck. God damn it. Though, I mean, it's 30 plus fucking years. So he probably doesn't care. <laughs> For now. All right, that was the end on this one. That this was this was cool. This this stuff right here, this shit, cool as fuck. D I love this types and fucking the six sisters, the blood sky heavens. Cool. This is cool as fuck. The name heavens corpse. I'm just, I just you never know, man. But I, yeah, I doubt it. All right, we're back to normal dialogue. Now he did fuck. Ties one of the coolest parts of Nazarus. Yeah, the types are super sick. I know, like, <laughs> it came to me in a dream, for fuck's sake. God damn it, Minon. Master the gaslighting, that's what you've done. The only source I trust, my dreams. <laughs> Slipping for the crowds in the loud city streets, I made it back to my room. The angel was still there, stubbornly still here. It would be long before winter came. Which was gonna shoot way below the freezing points. It'd be long before the town literally froze over. But it didn't matter. I lost the motivation to spend a second winter in this place. Um, don't you mean the city has been noisy recently? It's a mother that she overlooked the cityscape from the window. Only Minden's dreams. Ah. That large window. Larger than the angel. Just like a church window I once saw in a picture book. That angel with golden hair and pure white wings hung her head with a sad look on her face. The background of the window behind her was faintly smoking like a mirage. Everything in this world is gray in color. When this angel was beautiful, like a nightmare. Ah! Uh, oh, Rucka! Thanks for the raid! Hey, man! Hey again, thank you so much, I appreciate it. Come to cook you? No, please! We're just trying to read notes, man. Hey, it's the first time chatters, as well. Doing all well. It's great, I hope your stream went well. Reading notes? Yeah, we're reading notes! Because it was kind of... Man, the games! Because it was kind of... It got kind of... Some stuff was hinted at. There is no notes category, alright? There's no notes category, man. As far as I know, I don't think there is. I don't. F is there? There is. There, there's a notes category. No. Well, that's not the same notes, is it? No, that's not the same one. No, it's an indicator. Come on. No way. No, it's also called angel notes, right? Angel. I just did not spell notes. Going straight to Twitch. There's no angel notes. Also, listen, chat. This story is too old in the names. I don't know. The reason I'm doing Tsukihime, alright? It's to catch the most attention. Okay, get ready for work, so I'll see you around, buddy. Alright, bye, Rucka. Thanks for the raid and thanks for stopping by. But it's, you know, it's to catch the most attention. Smart, I know. I'm playing the smart game. It's not when people stream, like, modded Pokemon games. They only do Fire Red. Right? No matter what modern Pokemon game you're playing, it's fire red. Trust. It smells like toes. Huh? What do you mean by that? You almost got it, Rocker. Almost. There's a HQ. Oh, it's just a bunch of baboons slapping each other's butts. You know, bags? I think you're right. <laughs> I think you're right. So true, Max. Go off, Umfi. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Let's, uh, let's continue here. Where are we at? This is exactly how Twitch works. It is! It is! Because apparently they, had a new, they have a new collab, like, collaboration system, and it keeps... It turns on your face cam without your consent. So, like, imagine how fucked that is for VTubers. Imagine how fucked that is. 
now they've changed it to be a toggle, obviously, or it's uh, off by default, but bruh, Twitch, have some consideration for what your people stream on your platform, please. <clears throat> Andrew kept looking down at the scene far down below. So it was overloaded with people trying to escape. And what is everybody doing? It's a state of wide evacuation. The neighboring area was destroyed by 3,000 meter Aristotle. Tagging its flight path, it should pass by the city in three days. Flying above me? You press the A button five times in a row, Twitch will post your IP address on every social media. I believe I did do that at one point. <laughs> Not quite like that, but at some point, yeah. It's flying above all of our heads. I crash into the world trees. It's no matter which direction it's going. Everything beneath it is going to be destroyed. It's so natural that everyone's running away. Gazing vaguely at the ground, Angel Mothers. Huh, so that's why everyone is so desperate. Get the Angel's sideways glance, I started getting my stuff together. She was just standing there. I'm not taken aback. I showed the warm clothes, winter equipment, my personal air maker, and several guns to my bag. I decided to leave everything else behind. You two? You're really going? I don't want to die, you know. I'm not leaving right away. Once the commotion down there has died down, I'll gather by myself. Angel's eyes were downcast with disappointment. Just because she was always so cheerful for no reason, that's enough to make her look so awfully lonely. <laughs> this might be the last time, so please answer me. What in the world are you? Angel let out a carefree sigh. What I knew was that she wasn't a real angel, but I still didn't get it. That's why I wanted to know the truth, at least in the end. The angel replied so simply, I'm... whatever calls an Aristotle. Oh, fuck. Erm, that's... really bad. Ark? That's... Man, that's... Well, uh, you say that, but she seems nice. But that's still really bad. You stared at me with those eyes, I have to say. You didn't know? Aristotle's. Beings that suddenly appear on our planet became the enemy of every life, every last life form. Without exception. Immeasurable monsters whose biological structures, not to mention their methods of communication, were enigmatic in nature. I believe your race and all our souls are the same as the mage. Right? Like, this one's not evil, bro. Come on now. What those things was in a little city like this. In this deserted town's cheap apartment. Shaped like an angel playing guitar? It's not even funny. Why did this thing think that no living creature on this planet had the right to live? This must be some kind of punishment from God. Are you serious? You're a... Oh, not at all. That would actually, that would actually be the ground of the city. An entity containing my form itself was shot down, and it crashed landed here. It died instantly. Trees grew from its body, and humans started to live around it. I see a nice type that is definitely not capable of leveling the entire continent in seconds. My bad, assuming she could be evil. Post a positive video on my Facebook page as atonement. Oh, so wait a minute. Shot down. Died in some trees. Is she the world trees? Heaven's corpse. Keep going. I'll keep going. Uh, where the fuck am I? Angel goes on and on. This planet no longer has the had the power to raise life. The greener could not grow. But she was telling me we could grow it as long as the ground on which we would. It was planted was the top of a corpse instead of a planet? In the beginning, I wasn't this type of existence. I ended up this way by accident. And everyone calls the world trees are actually the wings of my former self. The leaves of the world trees are, um... In other words, the feathers of the wings, right? The feathers that fluttered down took the shape of my former self. 
Type Venus was that kind of invasion life invasive life form. Let the angels spread throughout this planet. Wait. She's Venus? What? The bitch lived? What the hell? How? So yeah, so it is Heaven's Corpse. But that's sick as fuck. What the hell? I uh, told him, yeah, I'm like, yeah, that is Heaven's Corpse. But I mean, you say not Heaven's Corpse was still smart though. I time to send a link to for, for what the design. Oh yeah, I mean I've seen her design a lot. We're gonna be doing reading the material book. So don't worry about that. Don't worry about that on it. You're so shaped like an angel. That's because um I'm everyone's fantasy. My former self's body has died. What seems to be something along the lines of an ego is still alive. But my former self never had the concept of an ego. This piece of this planet possesses an extraordinary ability to give form to intelligence. Huh. So, please. Thank you. My former self also had intelligence, but couldn't use it. So I took this sh took shape using everyone else's model. I took the form of an angel because it was the closest image to my former self. The Aristotles don't have the ability to come to mutual understanding. But becoming an angel granted me the same thought patterns as everybody else. By becoming an angel from a fantasy, I could become myself. That's... That's really cute. I like that. That's really cute. By becoming a fantasy, the angel managed to distance herself from the being known as Aristotle's. Becoming something other than herself. The strange girl was able to understand herself for the first time. The girl was already nobody at all. Just the realization of an angel dreamt up by the people here. Are you happy with that? Yes. The angel very happily nodded her head. The girl was nowhere to be found. It was only an illusion. I see. I guess angels can only exist in my dreams. I called the definition of the angel all of a sudden. She had wings and a halo. She was beautiful. And finally, she was nothing more than a dream. After all, the things in my life that give me any small scrape of, scrap of happiness turn out to be nothing but delusions in the end. And I thought that. The angel disappointedly replied, You're right. I wish I was a real angel. She looked so much more angelic than a real angel. I complain about something like that. Hmm. Damn. That's depressing. Okay, I think I missed something here. Did I miss something? Page 9? No, I didn't. Okay, I think I did. Gigantic crucifix disappear into the sea of clouds that have been straining with a gray sunlight. Its course had only been shifted slightly. It began to vanish far away into the distance while continuing to send its rain of judgment down to the surface. It seemed that the battle was finally over. The plane carrying me kept on rising above the troposphere, rising slowly. And the sound of the smoking plane was a large hole. Even the Iron Bird couldn't listen to orders anymore. Just in the dreams of all who had wings. Keep flying until its body rotted away. Sooner or later, it should pierce through the gray sea of clouds and into the stratosphere. The body was strong enough to breathe there. But there was no need to worry about that. Because there was no guarantee that I'd be alive by the time I got there. I would my sniper rifle and slumped against the wall. Though the hangar remained open. The freezing air flowed in, just as it did back then. View of the surface could be seen clearly. Monochrome land, devoid of color. Even the distant sea was colorless. This world was completely dead. But despite that, this steel color world was still too precious to me. My vision started to blur. I saw a scene just like this five years ago. Even that tore through the clouds that day was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. 
I shot down an angel-like creature, two wing-like appendages in a vaguely humanoid form. After a comparatively tiny bullet pierced into its forehead, it fell down from the heavens. Back then, in the moment I pulled the trigger, I locked eyes with it through the scope. There wasn't any mutual understanding, it's just how it was. Since then, I couldn't stop dreaming about that thing falling down into the sea of clouds. The angel riding with me woke up. One of her wings had been horribly plucked off. As a high-ranking member of the A-Race, she had set out on this mission as usual. She jumped in with wounds all over her body. She only dropped by to rest her wings, but no luck. The moment she opened the hangar door and got in, this plane was pierced with an arrow of light of a continuing to fly too close to the cross. The light pierced through the girl's wing in the plane's body, snatching away even the plane's AI and the girl's consciousness. And now, a few minutes later, the unconscious angel slowly woke up. Good morning. Okay, okay. That's good, but they activate our alarm system. So Why am I getting a fucking ad? <laughs> I have premium. But why? Why did I get an ad? Spotify, the fuck? Did it... Did it run up fucking mid-play? Now you don't? I don't... What? Have Jupiter stole it? I can't believe Did I actually run out mid fucking stream? I have it so it continuously replenishes, don't it? Damn, I don't have. Damn, I did actually just run out. Fuck, that's hilarious. When I spoke to her, she turned to look at the scene outside. Treating into the distance, she called and Aristotle vanished. The thing called and Aristotle vanished. I was staring in awe. I informed her about the destruction that happened here. And about the mission's success. She only had the strength to crawl. She drew closer. Her hand slipped on something wet. The blood that scattered across the floor made a pool. Dying the angel's body red. Oh. Let's go for something a bit more mellow. Yo! Yeah. And you shove me out of the way? The guy's doubling his existence? Bruh. Didn't answer her question. Just stared at what was happening outside. I saw the sky for the first time in my life. I didn't expect the real sky to be different from the one I read in the books. The sky? It's red. I repeat the words that I heard someone before as my arm lost its strength. That barrel fell to the floor. A black gun. I knew it. You're the person who shot down the bird. Well, sort of. Other people think, but... I must have used up all my luck back then. That's why I'm in this mess. The sky bear is gone then. I assume so. You're an idiot, you know. It's because you're protecting me. I couldn't help myself. I wouldn't want a pretty girl like you dying in front of my eyes. I gave her a pretentious one-liner. So silly I couldn't stop myself from cracking a smile. That's... That line's so out of character. <laughs> girl laughed with me. We both laughed while looking at each other. Small, weak, but gentle voices. You've changed. You weren't dishonest with your feelings before, were you? I wonder if such a thing really existed. The angel that told me it was okay to be a fake. She must still be in my room waiting for me to come back. They say angels can heal the mind, not the body. But that's not true. I didn't change who I am because of somebody else. Oh, it's been like this. I pretended to be cold, but I'm actually a nice guy deep down. Didn't you notice? Uh, really? Yeah, really. I used to being a hero back when I was just a kid. I was immature. Maybe I still am. 
That's where you need to go already. Right now, you're with one wing. You should be able to land on the ground. You need to go out with me. He's a nice guy. Oh, okay. Sure. He stood and gave me a strange, stern look. Are you going to be okay with that? Being alone until the end? Told you. I want to look cool. I'm used to being a hero, you know. Besides, I want to be alone in the end. Because until now, I've been alone all this time. I think my clumsily forced smile went smoothly. Probably because the best one of probably the best one of my life. Well then, this is goodbye. Flapping her single wing, she flew away. She reminded me of the fish like angels swing for the Red Sea. I stood up and sat in the cockpit. Not knowing what I was doing myself, I tried to fix the broken autopilot. Just had some luck left, I was sure things would end up would end differently. I closed my eyes and slept. I heard a voice close to my ear. Why did you fight? That's because I don't want to die. Why don't you want to die? That's because I want to live. Then, why did you want to live? That's simple. It's because... That's the furthest limits of my memory. Only that answer was different from before. Damn. Almost there, oh god. The day I tried to leave the city, I barely avoided getting caught by a military messenger. So I must have heard the old story from five years ago and enlisted me in the mission. I returned to retrieve the black barrel that I abandoned. The angel was also still left in the room. You're going to fight that thing? Seems like it. We heard of knights are gathering too, so the military is definitely willing to fight. I've been told that we'll at least be able to alter the cross's flight path. That's all there is to it. Well... Oh, it gets impossible. It is impossible. Terra fails to understand the beings known as Aristotles. They are not creatures of this planet. There's no way to win. So is this guy the gun god? That no, he's not. He's not him. He is? I thought he just had the gun. Did my ass not fucking read? MC is Gun God? He- Oh. Did I not understand? I didn't understand this correctly then. Well, yeah, I figured because we just had the gun. I think we just took it from someone. I know, I know, I know. I just figured we took it from someone else, you know? We took it from a being called God Gun. Or Gun God. That's what I figured we did. But, but uh, damn, okay. Right, see, and see, chat, this is why I still need you, because I'm smart till I'm not. I'm smart, and then I'm not. This such a thing is impossible, said so. They're compatible with this plant's common sense. That's why the very concept of death doesn't exist for them. It won't stop until they fulfill their purpose. A purpose? One of you has such a thing? Yes, we didn't decide a purpose ourselves, but we have one. This planet's death was a result of a life that inhabited it. The planet itself was not pessimistic about its death, because the planet only contained a will. It didn't contain any meaning. However, an exception had been made. Every species were able to live on, even on a dead planet's land. Right. You know what? See, you're right. Now that you've said all this chat on a pious minute, you're right, yes. I'm not smart. I just wasn't paying attention. Uh, please. It's okay. I, I know it is, but it's like, damn, man. Something I wish I could pick up on the and remember this. My own hubris sometimes just gets it goes against me. Wait, is Buddy begging her to kill him? Huh? 
please. I want you to cause the extinction of every life form that is still alive. Naturally, the only ones who were able to hear the planets cry for help are other planets. I... No. We were chosen as the absolute highest ranking species of each planet. I'm reading it wrong. I'm... This is Venus talking. I'm reading it wrong. Right? These are so small, bro. To clarify, Gun God is the last unmodified human on Earth. All of the inhabitants of Earth are modified humans or a race. Right. The modified. They kind of just left him alone, huh? Yeah. I wouldn't mess with that. Well, it's on the human side. Obviously, yeah. Let's see. Um. We were chosen as the absolute highest ranking species of each on the planet that received this planet's will. For example, there is a soul known as Heaven's Corpse. The thing that used to be me was the most superior individual on Venus. What did you say? That's my breath without realizing it. Remember this one stood at the top of each planet's evolutionary tree with an alien common sense? So the strongest life form of a planet is, in other words, the very planet itself. Human species who had been surviving on this planet was were essentially dealing with the eight other planets. Yeah, well it doesn't look like we can win, huh? <laughs> yes. You need to nod apologetically. Besides, you know one's in the right. Jeez, we just accept the two thousand year prophecy, we'd have ended up a we'd have ended up still being the victims. You're wrong! It's their stores who are the fault. You don't have any will. Isn't it a bad thing to erase life without having a will? But there was no longer any notion of good or evil on this planet. I mean, we could assume so, Anna, yes, considering she gets her life source from the planet. So, unless she turned to drinking human blood, which I doubt, uh, she would indeed just up end up and, you know, up and die, you know. Yeah. Self-contradictory rule was to just live or die. It's as simple as that. That's why, because I've lived till this point, I'm not going to roll over and die. Oh, that Venus, of course. It makes no difference. I don't have any kind of reason to fight either. At this point, I'll never have one. Isn't this the most simple way of life? The angel didn't answer me. What are you going to do? Well, it may be true that you have the same purpose, even across a different, right? Your body will be destroyed along with the city, you know. So you die instantly, but that's in our way of putting it. I don't think death as we know it on this planet applies to life forms from other planets. The truth is, you can already move, can't you? Then you looked down and shook her head. No, I can't. If I move, the outer shell of the wings will shatter. I hope the leaves will fall from what everyone calls the world trees. If that happens, count the angels will flood the land from the sky. The angel said, with a gloomy face. She's right. The number of leaves on top of the two trees reaching the sea of clouds far exceeded the number of human species in existence. The hundreds of millions of angels set free would cover the planet's surface in the blink of an eye. But you'll die if you don't. It's okay. Because I'm everyone. They're nothing but a creation of their fantasies. That's just the knowledge given to you. Different from us. Just simple decorations to you. It'd be better if you just hurried up and took off already. Angel sadly smiled and just shook her head like before. Are you an idiot? I know I am, but I can't help it. I love this place. Terry eyes. Angel said so in satisfaction. How could I argue with that? 
I see. Well, I guess it can't be helped. Yes. She nodded and stared at me. Since her gaze was silently asking me, what about you? The leaves of the world trees, I can remember the Venus wings are all angels. No, the wings... The remnants of Venus... As wings, the feathers are what's holding the clouds and the angels up at bay. That's what's stopping the angels from actually coming down. I'm going to die soon, you know. I'm going to be struck with divine punishment. You can at least reward me with an answer. Take care of my belongings on my back, I answered her. Oh, that was her saying she's going to die soon. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to die soon, you know. I'm going to be struck with divine punishment. You could at least have one with an answer. Go so with the story. Thank you. Mia, yeah, turn the shit up then. <clears throat> yeah, I understand. Listen, I have a confession to make. I also love this place so much. It must have been... I flew from all the way back then. I've been possessed by you. Huh? Your eyes widen in astonishment. Um, what do you mean? Ever since then, I've been in love with you. I just didn't realize until now. As I desperately threw out those words, the angel's face lit up, but she merely hung her head. But I'm not human. Unfortunately, the angel had only just realized that fact. Jeez, are you an idiot? Seriously? Well, let me tell you something. There's only one human being in this world, and that's me. So why the hell should that matter? Huh? You're right. A nod in admiration. There's nothing more to talk about. The time of the military gathering was drawing closer, so I started walking outside. Well, I gotta, I gotta head out. I'll find someone with a better dream next time. You become a real angel if you do that. Because the fancies I turned up were all twisted in some way. I looked back at her one last time. The angel with a gentle expression answered me. No. There is no such thing as a real angel. I'd rather stay as a fake one. Fancy told me she'd remain as a fantasy. Is that so? Convinced, I left the room. What was left in the room was my older sister's guitar and the fake angel. And he has a sister. Gun God, which is Godot, his other name. It was a popular name assigned to him after the mission Fallen Bird, where he shot down Type Venus. Some sarcastically called him a god imitator or a pretender, a very pure human. He excluded the black barrel from a sealed area with his favorite gun, he passed away during the intercept mission involving Type Saturn. Oh, Gato. So... He died. So when he's so... Talking to Angel... That... So when they say that was a dream... They meant that shit. That's... That's really sad. I figured, yeah, but... I don't know, just to take it in fully. That's basically what this folk went on to die. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Aristotle's ultimate one. Eight life forms that came from other planets. 
In truth, they are the strongest life forms on their respective planets, and each possess the capability to ex cause the extinction of all life on this planet on their own. The name Aristotle was given by the people of this planet since they have no concept of names. Aristotles will not fight each other, they can fly around freely killing things. Some Aristotles have learned the concept of knowledge from this planet's life forms, or have even appeared before them. After the annihilation of Type Saturn, who received the order from this planet and conveyed it to the other planets, they entered their final battle with the human race. Crucifix? Yeah, that was Crucifix. Yeah. That was... Yeah, Crucifix. Which was the one that... They were trying to shoot down. This is still inconclusive? I'm fucking mad because this is good. Wow, that was really good. What happens to us with humans or types? Mm. Okay, Nazca for a time was meant to be the final boss though. That sounds about right. That sounds narcissistic enough. <laughs> However, I realized that humanity was capable of living past her death, freaked out, and cried out to the other planets to come help exterminate humanity. Ah, one last effort of- Hey, these guys are still here, by the way! Fucking help! Not from Manitou, but apparently the speech of fairies in Lost Mistakes are known as Ares. Though I don't know if it's been revealed or how or if they're right to be reasons from notes. Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. I mean, it sounds like it. It's hard to say. You know what? Honestly, Pies, it's hard to say. You want to reading here? It's hard to say. Because the different spellings is... Well, I assume Ray is just Ray, regardless. It's hard to say. Maybe? The time the Ort came first, crashed in South America and proceeded to sleep. Lamau. Tabun, Crimson Moon, came second, got beaten by Zeltric, created the type the true ancestors so that you can come back the rest came together yeah well, I suppose I can I could look through the I don't know how long this material book is I don't know how long this is it's pretty quick okay good I will uh, look through this then There she is! Around seven years after the story was published. Well, there you go. There she is! Vivi, I guess we'll call her, yeah. Little girl! <laughs> Fuck's sake. Jackson, an illusory angel. She played the guitar, but she was pretty bad at it. Preparing... Godo's apartment. She portrayed herself as a maid. But in truth, she was a good-for-nothing freeloader. Basically, she just sat around and did nothing other than being a little troublemaker. Vivi had a special ability that gave her a subtle healing effect. Vivi's ultimate attack, however, was to completely eat up Godo's income. Her hobby was appreciating the lives of those gathered under the big trees. As you'd expect, falling in love with a virtual existence isn't a good idea. But as you'd also expect, virtual existences are made for falling in love. What? Wait a fuck. Virtual exist. Wait a fucking minute. They're, they're going to introduce notes, aren't they? They're going to introduce notes in Ordeal Call 3, aren't they? Is it not real? I suppose when you put it that way. At the same time. To have, yeah, 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 the imagination of humanity. Uh, why use the word using the word virtual seems kind of weird, though. Why use that word? You know. 
Seems kind of weird. This one's... This is trans true, but like, why use that one? There's once a base built in order to monitor the corpse of Type Venus. Not even official. True. At the time, those assigned to the site felt as if they were sent into exile. It became clear that the corpse was creating the ground. The base alone developed into the city of the world trees. During the military shooting operation involving Type Uranus and Neptune, the city's large trees would lose most of their leaves. Hmm. There's two more types we didn't hear about until now. Heaven's Corpse, Type Venus, the ultimate one of Venus. It could be described as a carnivorous planet with an overall length of about a thousand meters. It's said to have a form similar to a fish with a pair of gigantic trees behind it, but nobody has ever recorded accurately because it was hidden within the sea of clouds. And flying into Earth slightly faster, slightly later than the other invading Aristotles. Drifted among the sea of clouds for a long time. It's harmless for a brief period until it finally completed its search for an ideal seabed and began descending. Forgot about Uranus and Neptune? Honestly, s same. Burp. That true form roots into the earth and spreads millions, or rather, an indecipherable number of spores, genetic predator terminals. It's an invasive creature that resembles a forest plant. Capable of growing from the environment. Your soul was parasitic in nature, so it had ended up absorbing a concept of the human species. Hmm. Interesting. Notes. An admirable and single mind in nature. Uh. His frail types are dead then. Yes. Blah 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 had fallen in love with the idea of love itself. The command that had been entered was prey upon everyone and everything on earth. But the answer that they came to was love everyone and everything on earth. I suppose that can't be helped. Ah. Came an incurable thing. A name to be loved. Or if you can't philosophize about seven, yeah. So they were meant to, I was, you know, like any other type moon type, you know, destroy everything, kill everything, get rid of everything. But she said, um, I'm actually gonna love everything. There he is. Yeah, he is just an edge lord. <laughs> like I like her design. Forehead, big forehead. My little elder monster that can't possibly be this cute. Real name erased. He was known by the names God Gun and False God. After this world fell into ruin, there were only a few humans left from the old era. Not like Iris. Well, Iris looks like her. You mean. Godo was from an artificial paradise created by those humans who tried to survive the apocalypse, among other things. Paradise itself was promptly extinguished by the Black Aristotle. However, a human who had undergone environmental adaptation, Godo had the misfortune of surviving as the last remaining human on Earth. However, even though he survived, he didn't have long to live. For Godo, life was now like living on the moon. Without the help of machines and medicines, he couldn't breathe properly. No choice but to eat poisonous food. Certainly quite bleak, but since he had overcome many near-death experiences, Godo accepted or resigned himself to become one become more of a masochist, masochist than a pessimist, taking it easy each day. You just now realize that, Ane? There's a scene outside the Carnival Cafe Pies where we see a girl sitting on top of, um, um, I forgot the Assassin's, Assassin's Temple, and there she is. She sits on top of that temple. And me and Olive for the, we watched it like recently again. It's like who the fuck is this? I I don't know. It could probably this this. I don't know. But Kojo, thank you. His temple. She's sitting on top of it. I don't think Godo was there, but there was a bike, 
and I feel like it was because she was talking to someone else, I think, but I don't know. Yeah, it was Angamanu and Roa, right? She was sitting with Angamanu and Roa, which is super interesting. Once, out of a desire for revenge from the bottom of his heart, he excavated the Black Barrel from the sealed sea of Adelaide. Anticipated a military operation to stop the descent of Type Venus. He drew from the war after that, and his location became a mystery. This room he got himself involved in a mission to intercept Type Saturn in a certain city. He's considered to have died in action. He was the weakest, but Goto was a sniper who could resist the strongest poison. And Nanaya? Okay, now you're reaching. I don't think all of those characters were out there. I'd have to look at that scene again, but I don't think so. The black gun that Goto used. It was a weapon crafted using the true fifth element that caused the fifth imaginary element to destroy itself. The six is was called a conceptual weapon of a natural lifespan. So, it it's a conceptual weapon! And Mika was there too. Er, he was inside the building actually. So, the mystics are f conceptual weapons. And true fifth element, as in... Not the fifth magic, right? Because that wouldn't make sense. Oh yeah, Anna, you should specify Nanaya Panda, man. No? Yeah, okay, I figured. Because that doesn't make sense. So I don't know what the fifth element is. I mean, I mean, they say it's the element to destroy itself, but... I'm not sure what that means. Right, the Nia Panda. Exactly, you should have said that. I was made with the witches. <sighs> I mean, to do conceptual weapons, something used against vampires, but you know, they're just any weapons that attack based on concepts. In this case, the concept is opposing a natural lifespan. Yeah. A bullet fired from this gun is a magical gunshot that inflates a wound, bypassing any kind of ability value as long as the target operates on true ether. It's akin to a cancer cell driven directly into the body. How fun. One of the reasons why humans fell from the crown of creation was their inability to deal with the grain that filled the atmosphere, which is fatal when inhaled. This new energy grain uh, refused humanity and caused it to become the weakest living organism on Earth. However, the Black Barrel was a weapon that suddenly reversed this flaw. It was highly versatile with every kind of option available via the exchanging of parts. It can be used as a sniper rifle. It's an unmodified form uh, was similar to a rifle with a curved stock. At the time of excavation, there was two guns, the original and the replica. Goodest figure was the original. Uh, let's see. The is of a short story about angels within the Land of Steel. He's the weakest, but he has a special weapon that defeats the strong. He's definitely a person who fits the definition of a protagonist. Later on, I decided to have this style be inherited by Shiki from Tsukihime. Sort of. Well, maybe not. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right, Nasu. That sounds about fucking right. Ho what the fuck is that? Ho holy shit! Mystic Sword slash Emperor. Oh, this is Edo. Holy shit! The Mystic Sword wielded by Otto Edom, the Devourer of Planets. That's so fucking raw. The Devourer of Planets, Otto Edom. What the fuck is that? His Mystic Sword. It's a simple mystic sword that increased the size of the blade to match the size of the target. The sword seed in Edom's hand germinates and rapidly expands at the speed of, of a thought. The art is so fire. Hell yeah. So, the, sp the speed is so fast that, that... That's so fucking fast. The speed of a thought. Which is inst... It's fast and instant. Is it even comprehensible how fast that is? I don't fucking think so. Good lord. However, no matter how much true ether is used from Mystic Sword, a huge conversion sword is required to compose such a huge mass. The more Eden's Mystic Sword increases in size, the more it simultaneously scrapes away at the earth. The flaw of the old worlds 
many laws allowed it to gain resources. Edom is no different, being a ruin to the world in order to protect humanity. His puzzles say that he is the embodiment of all humans existing at this present moment. Before the formation of the mystic sword, it waits in its seed state. Then it pierce, pierces the earth in response to Edom opening his eyes to the truth. Growing like a green eggplant. This scene shows normal balance states. What seems like a blue aura is not the grain emitted by the blade, but the sky being torn by the sword. Slash Emperor shows his majestic appearance when he cuts through the devastated world's red sky, revealing a glimpse of the truth. That's raw as fuck. That's so cool. Bro is ripping the goddamn sky to reveal the blue sky again. That's so fucking cool. Yo, Edom's the best. Holy, there's a lot to read here. All right. Coolest thing ever. Never mention again. What? Otto Edom needs to come back. Bro is slashing through type blood. I can't believe this shit. Otto Edom. The knight that forms the Mystic Sword Slash Emperor. The knight didn't stand out during the battle against the 100 A-Ray subspecies. However, at the time the Aristotles came flying in, he rose to the center stage. Knight Edom cleaved the Black Aristotle, type Jupiter, in two with a single swing of that Mystic Sword. Since then, the 100 A-Ray subspecies, human species, and the other... The Order of Knights built a disposal site to imprison Edom within the Great Rift, known as the Witch's Umbrella due to the excessively deviant nature of Slash Emperor. What? He saved your fucking lives from almost the worst type imaginable, and you'll seal him? Bruh. It's like a fucking... It's... <sighs> What the fuck? Why? It's like of all the, the Jutsu Swords when JJK sealed Gojo. Like, wh why would you seal the winning chance for your goddamn species? Why would you do this? We're stupid. Ex yeah, we deserve it. What the fuck? I'm not sure if the world of notes exists in the current canon. Now, winning's a thing. The war's still around. So probably, only I hope this gets concluded. I hope so. As the battle with the Aristotles was approaching its end, he was deployed as a human species' last resort and annihilated the cross type Saturn, which is said to be invincible. It is currently unknown if he is alive or dead. So, he's the last resort button. Okay. So, he's the. Okay. Fubar and then some. Get him, eat him. That, that's what he is. Okay. At 1% vol, I heard. Ah. He parted the skies? Ah, yeah. That shit got me shook, Rook. I'm not gonna lie. I knew it was odd. <laughs> uh, that shit shook my core, honestly. He parted the fucking tight blood sky. Are you dead ass? Can't defeat the living cross. Deploy Edom. He can do it. The Witch's Umbrella, Witch Swift Umbrella, a castle built in the middle of a large fault. Its name comes from the fact that it is built on a scaffold that looks like an open umbrella turned upside down. It's the original concept for the Millennium Castle from, from Tsukihime. Oh! Do you know who Goto is? You know what Goto did? Well, he killed, um... Venus, yeah. Killed Venus, unless there's something else I don't know. In the depths of the castle-shaped prisons, many walls, and multiple doors, a thousand chains bind the thing that sits tied to a throne. From the castle walls, these chains stretch towards the throne like a spider web. Lifting from the throne requires nothing other than the strength to destroy the entire castle. In addition, there are 78 doors that must be passed to arrive at the throne. Those are magical doors that no ordinary knight can break down. I'm sure there's nothing else. Oh. I guess I'll find out, huh? Leader of the hundred subspecies of A-Race, the Great Rift. 
the youngest sister of the six sisters. Half the world with a crack in the lift. Six sisters were not created intentionally. Let me know the result of the youngest sister's death cry which gouged out the planet's surface as she was killed by a certain knight. In the Land of Steel, Magecraft has been lost but rumor has it that each of the six sisters were magicians. Take care and join us also. Also what? Smells like toast. Huh? Lord- <gasps> Dude! No way. So that we are Magecraft. Well, they are sorcerers. And they're wielding Magecraft. I think- I thought at this point they'd use true magic, but I guess not. Free sorcerer makes sense. Yeah. Hmm, Magecraft and not magic. Interesting. The Knights. Human species has adapted and evolved to become a new humanity that can survive on the devastated Earth. And the more humanoid creatures composed to the rest of the A-race. Miners each have an external organ from the moment of birth, which will materialize, which will be materialized from grain and generally named mystic swords. Those which handle the, these swords are known as knights. Sorcerer is true magic. I'm using all turns because it's what I'm accustomed to. Ah, fair. This has known as five. Yeah. So it fits. It does. I mean, it does kind of raise a question, is there a sixth one? Which there's not, obviously, but that's interesting. Because if the six were magicians, and magicians is only used for true magic wielders, so is, was there a secret sixth one that's been lost to time? Probably not, but hey, I don't know. We can theorize and speculate all we want. I don't know. Lost, exactly, like either lost or discovered. Like, they wouldn't specify the six may have been magicians. They would have said five if they want to stick to the whole five true magics. So, you know, oh. Uh, source slash on the land of steel over counts 1999. It's a story depicting the battle between the new humanity and other planets. This kind of almost like it could only be five, right? Yeah. So it works in its own way. I think stuff like that. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. So do I. Chano is pseudo-science fiction. It's a fairy tale that depicts the battle between the new human race adopted, adapted to the environment and next generation ecosystem species created by humanity, the A-race. So it takes on a dead planet. The people are happily fighting over who will be the next leader. However, mysterious creatures called the Aristotles came from outer space and telling them it was time for both of them to die. This is a very sad story. It is. The strongest beasts of each planet, ultimate ones, Aristotles, will appear frequently in the type moon games from now on. Also, as a side note, the blue sky scene for the red sky was Mr. Pavel's idea, who is in charge of the design. We I had neglected to use the red sky in this way. I've never seen such bullshit in my life. I've never seen more bullshit in my entire life than this day. Bullshit. Bullshit. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> so that was a fucking lie. Large cat. I mean, okay. Actually, no, just specifying for each planet. They're specifying each planet, which is a fucking lot. I was about to say, like, oh, but technically, because you got Ark, she's a type. You know, she's an ultimate one, right? Right? You got type moon, that's normal. Lie. Never mind. Lie. The best we got is Ork, and he barely fucking counts anyway. <laughs> Honestly. The one that barely counts, we have Ark type Earth, but she's not... <laughs> Can't wait to again translate, but it's very recent. Oh, is it? It's a good chunk of reading notes. Well, damn. Got an Ark, Prince of Moon, and recently, or. Yeah, like, the best, but. The thing is, like, 
Because, like, yeah, Ark and Crimson Moon, they count, but just sp he specified each planet. Moon's not a planet, right? Earth is, but we have Ark since fucking the original. So, yeah, you made up for that one, yes. And Ort isn't even in the OG group, yeah, he's not even from the original fucking Arstelios group. Or Aristotle's group. He's not even from that one. So, but he's lying. Straight up lie. He used Ark, and that's it. He was yeah. He was listed type Mercury question mark in the data books, but till FG he get to FGO. So he claimed wasn't part of it. Man. This is fun though. Oh, let me just zoom demo chat. Hold on. This was a good read. This was fun. I like this. And it's yeah, it seemed you all had fun too. I repeat, coolest thing ever. Never mentioned. Notes. I'm honestly kind of upset that I like it as much as I do. It's. I'm actually mad I like it as much as I do. Notes is really fucking cool. It's got some. Sick concept, bro. It's this shit so fuck. This shit right here is so fucking cool. I love this shit, and I'm so mad. It's never coming back. Like, buddy, with the cyst, with like the, the game consoles and computers we got now, bro. I need a notes game, bro. And you play through the Great War as one of the knights. That's what I need. Imagine that shit. That's what I need. <laughs> that is that's some that's some encopium. That's like I'm delusion. That's delusion. That's what that is. But like, damn, imagine that. You know, it's after acknowledging types and archetype herb is the first notes from I think we really got in the decades. I'm realizing now a downside to me, the more I read. Nasu works that are not like fate related like it's like you know Tsukihime gets Toya plus disc even you know notes the more reading these the more and more I become pessimistic about FGO and how much it pisses me off <laughs> like bro, that shit is just like fuck I just keep hate I just keep just like an FGO and what Type Moon is doing more and more as I read these because there is so much potential here. The potential for this shit to be its own franchise. It doesn't mean need to be its own franchise. The potential here is insane. But nah, let's release another Um Here's a Lolly Elizabeth, I don't know. For some shit. Like, here's a, another fucking Da Vinci. Hey, hey. Ready for the funny summer beach event number 228,472? Oh, yes, sir, I am. Like, oh! You wanna. Here's, here's CL in FGO. But it's not CL, you know. It's from the Servant Verse. Because reasons, so like, okay, all right, cool, I guess. See, I, wait, Minin, did you not know this? Did you not know this? You're lying. Did you not know this? Oh my god, I don't have ad block on this one. Oh god. Did you not know this? This happened. CL Gura Dojin. What the Yeah. Here's CL Sensei, by the way. It's Space CL. It's. We have CL. Space. We have CL Sensei. And we have Ultra CL. How? Because she's from space. Because she's from the Servant Universe. That's why. That that's it. Awkward CL. Yeah, kinda. Yeah, it's it's Sermon vs. bullshit.
I haven't been able to pull her, unfortunately. I mean, she, she's cool. I, I mean, she, I mean, I'm a rat. She, <laughs> but yeah, um, this is a thing. Yeah. Uh, Wooga, thank you. And yeah, she's moon cancer because uh, fuck it, I guess. But she's a uh, interesting. Burn on burn. The the thing is, there was an advertisement, right? It was an advertisement. I post I posted this in the the cord, and it mentioned like, oh. Tsukihime's on sale. You should go buy it on the Switch or the PlayStation. It also features CL from FGO. At that point, I kind of just like uh, I I fucking give up. I I give up. It's strong attention, but I fucking give up, man. I give up. I I can't anymore. It, it's funny, but it's like I uh, okay, man. Featuring CL from FGO, I'm like, okay. Ugh. Laugh through the pain. <laughs> so with Metal Very popular in fighting game, it? So it's been how you got into Tsukihime. Yeah! And how, you know, they turned Melty Blood into just fate but fighting game right even though fate already has its own fighting game and didn't need to take over melty you know they didn't need to do that that shit still pisses me off what they did to melty type lumina and I, I get it, because Red Garden, they can't do those characters, they can't do the original Melty characters because it's not been introduced. And then she, because she's not been introduced, so they can't do that, blah blah Oh, fuck it, no. That's what I wish they did. Like, because French Bread, they wanted to do a fate, they wanted to do, I, I th it was either they wanted to do a fate fighting game, or a Type Moon fighting game. But then Type Moon, I was like, no, 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 no. It has to be Melty Blood. You know, gotta continue the moniker of Melty because everyone knows Melty Blood. Gotta do that. It's like, okay, fair. Okay, fair. We already designed Saber, though. So we'll just put her in, which fair, you know, whatever. A little crossover. And then let's count. Can we count the DLCs? How many would add it? That's FGO. Let's see. We have Ushi, Mashu. Dantes. So many slots taken. It was. It was a huge boot. It was. That was that was a good timing, but it makes sense. But like at the same time, it's like, come on, man, why are you adding a bunch of fate characters? This is a Tsukihime fighting game. Not type moon. If you want to type moon, you should have done so from the start, you know? Don't try to double dip the potato chip. Like, nah. You pick one or the other. I mean, Dante, because he has a connection to Roa, right? That I've been able to, like, live with some of the choices. I can live with, like... I can live with... What am I looking for? Saber, because she was the first one they designed. I can live with that. Fine, whatever. Dantes, he's connected to Roa in some way. I guess? I mean, sure. Mashu, I'm like, okay. I see what you're doing. And then, I mean, Neko Arc, I mean, it's Neko Arc, right? They're a staple too. M Melty Lad's fine. And then Ushi. He breaks Fate Lord, by the way. Fucking great. And then Ushi. Why the fuck is Ushi Wakamaru in Melty Blood? Aside from just Neko Arc being funny. Neko being like, look, I can summon servants. Baha, here's Ushi. Like, why the fuck? Ushi. She's not even the most popular 
like female character in FGO at the time. Exactly. Like, if you're gonna do fake characters, add from the other visual novel, you know? Leave the gotcha game alone. Do the visual novel, that's cool. I wouldn't have mind. If they did Stay Night, I would have been mad at all. Fucking playing it. Do imagine if you could play as Archer and do Unlimited Blade Works. Sure, it was a sheik, it was a sheik, it was a sheik. Hell yeah. Exactly. Like, imagine something like that, but no, no. Gotta do FGO, haha. <laughs> Gotta satisfy the FGO fans that are not gonna be playing this. Just like they did with Samurai Remnants, they dumbed down the gameplay to satisfy the FGO fans who will not be playing this. Type Moon doing their damn hardest to cater to FGO fans for making their games is the worst decision they've ever fucking decided to do. It's It has. Thankfully, with the English release, Tsukihime has, you know, it's been do it's been doing well since the English release. I mean, obviously, I have I have commands for it too, like straight to just go buy the thing. I forget what I called it, but I have commands that takes you to the store for both versions to just buy the damn thing. Because I need more people to buy Tsukihime. If you haven't, I mean, here already has. But I, it's not that. I forgot what it was. Hold on. I have the little fecker here. What was it? Let's see. Ah, that's what it was. There you go. That's the PlayStation version. And then Peep 2. Switch version. There you go. You soon got to be be really popular. It would, but they're doing Mahoyo. They're doing Demon Slayer. They're doing the Genshin anime. They're doing other shit. I don't know. Honestly, Time Moon kind of reminds me of Sega in that way, Ano. Because like Sega's, well, I say it used to. Because Sega's now giving all of their franchise, all of their IPs attention. Because they're making a bunch of new games and remakes and whatever. So, it used to be the case, but in the past, they usually just relied on Yakuza and fucking Sonic, and that was it. Nowadays, they're not that bad about it. Yeah, I mean, it's getting better nowadays, thankfully, right? So, so that's good. We're, we're, it's looking up. It's looking up. But... Uh, but there were rough patches, can't lie. There were rough patches. Well, I mean, I... Yeah, that's honestly... I, I just miss... I just miss them, man. I, I miss them so much. Like, it's not that long ago that we finished it. I, I miss those three so much. I miss them so much, dude. I You don't even know. With Futsukime cast, I'm fine with it because I'm reading Kigetsu Toya. So I'm still with that cast, right? Same with when we get to Melting. Like, I'm still with the Mahoyo, the, the Tsukihime cast. But like, I miss these three so much, dude. Like it says, we have a whole other remaster. It's not so chance percent of KTG remake. Exactly. I miss this trio so much, man. Imagine how hype it was when Sukimi got remake announced after decades. One of fought not to ban his Suki branch. Yeah, his Suki branch. I don't. Yeah. And now that we're talking about this, it's hitting me again that oh, okay, yeah, we. It's been a while now. Hold on. <laughs> He's not done anything with these characters in a while. Okay. Um. It's been like three years. Be it Tsukima or Mahoyo, it's kind of, hmm. Yeah, got caught in that movie. Yeah. It's Aku Shogun FTO. Yeah, which was cool. Honestly, my that's still my favorite event this year. The Mahoyo event is still my favorite. Like, bro, when I finished the Mahoyo event, I mean, I've said it like. I think I've said it like thousands of times now, bro. That shit made me cry. 
I, I love the Mahoyo Land so much. And I want them back. I want these three back, man. Yes, not a decade, bros. Yeah, right. Just one more decade, am I right? Oh, uh, no, this song is too good. Because now we're reminiscing. Now we're... Uh, now we're acting like we're old people. Like, exactly, Ani, thank you. This song is not making it any better. God, I'm not, now I'm thinking about that Alco scene again. That shit hit different. That Alco scene hit different at the end of Tsukihime. God damn. It's big place in the old episode of Philip before part 3 starts. I mean, I can believe that. Like, right guard. Yeah, I can believe that. I can definitely believe that. But all we can do is just wait and see. At that point. And hope for the best. Because, I don't know. Yeah, I hope that's the case. Yeah, I hope so. Gotta go. Fun stream. Exactly. Alright. Alright. Before anyone leaves. Alright. Chat. That's gonna do it for this time. I do, I do have to go. Because it's late. So I really should have dipped already. But, you know, it was fun just talking with all of you. Honestly, that was just so much fun. So, uh, <laughs> you'll make me yap, man. You'll go make me talk. And plus, I love hanging out with you all. Callie, thanks for stopping by, man. I didn't know you were in here. I just stopping by. So, I'll make it brief. I know you all had fun. I know you all enjoyed yourself. So have a good day, evening, or night, wherever you are in the whole wide world. And hope to see each and every one of you. Same time, same place, next time, alright? So, sleep well everyone, bye bye